Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Hickson. I'm currently the Senior Advisor over the Pasco Sheriff's Office Explorer Program. Today we are hosting a FAPE, or the Florida Association of Police Explorers Delegates Conference. Essentially, this is a opportunity where Explorer posts from all across the state of Florida are coming together and participating in a joint training session hosted by uh, the Pasco Sheriff's Office. Good morning, everyone. I think we can do a little better than that. Good morning, everyone. There we go. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Jerry Hickson. I'm the current the senior advisor of the Pasco Sheriff Office's floor program. And on behalf of Sheriff Chris Cockwell, I want to first welcome you to not only Pasco County, but also the FAP Delegates Conference for May. So today we have eight different scenario stations planned and most of the scenarios are going to encompass in progress mocked calls for service where we're going to have the ability to evaluate the explorers on different types of skills including decision making skills, officer safety, communication, scene awareness and basic investigative law enforcement procedures. And all this is in an effort to train them, to, to teach them something about the career field that they might want to possibly know or at least have a better understanding of. This delegates conference affords them that opportunity to get some hands-on training and, and, and to really build that confidence to be able to make a more well-informed decision so when they graduate high school they know that hey this is a career path that they really are passionate about. Hello my name is Alyssa Jameson and I'm currently a captain within the Explorer Post. So throughout the Explorer program, I've been involved for about four years throughout Junior Explorers and then Senior Explorers. So during my time in Junior Explorers, I learned a lot about teamwork and how to help each other out. When I transitioned to Senior Explorers, I've gotten a lot more experience with scenario-based training and just learned a lot more about myself. I've learned that I can do way more than I think I'm capable of. So throughout scenario-based training, I've learned a lot about communication and how to help each other out when you're on scenarios. I've also gone on countless hours of ride-alongs, which has prepared me for my future in law enforcement. Honestly, if I wasn't in this post, I wouldn't be sure of if law enforcement was something that I wanted to do in the future. I wouldn't have the assurance that I needed, but through this post, I've seen that this is exactly what I want to do with my future. Well, my name's Major Dylan Akers. I'm with the Explorer Post 916 with the Pasco Sheriff's Office. As an explorer, within the past five years, I've learned uh, just going out on the road and going on ride-alongs and just being an explorer out on community details. You uh, notice how people treat you or how others act. And the biggest thing is to tr treat others with respect as you want to be treated. Something that I've noticed as a, an explorer is you get to see all the different things within the sheriff's office. You meet people and you get to build that relationship as well to know what it's like to be a good citizen because you get all these tips on building your discipline and your respect within the agency and the community. Through my career as an explorer, I've gone through many different scenarios, trainings, and different activities within the Explorer Post and different law enforcement agents. These include delegates conferences, which is based off of leadership exercises, team building, and a lot of drill and discipline. This helps a lot within yourself to build up your camaraderie and your discipline within your character and your personality traits to help you get to know others and to just build that relationship with other people. I want to thank FAPE, I want to thank the District School Board of Pasco County for allowing us to host the event at one of their schools and I also want to thank our Sheriff, Sheriff Chris Nako, for his support and his admiration and uh, yeah it's going to be a good day.